Hey everyone. Today I wanted to talk to you about walking in life, roadblocks in life. And I'm going to I'm going to start out with a a quote from a movie, The Karate Kid. Some of you probably remember these movies. Some of you probably not so much, but Mr. Miyagi's talking to Danielson. Danielson kind of gives a well, I guess, answer to something. And he stops him and he goes, Life's a roadway. You walk on the left side, good. You walk on the right side, good. You walk in the middle, splat. You always go splat. Let's think about that for a minute. What's Mr. Miyagi trying to say here? Because I think it, it matters a lot in life, even though it's a movie quote. All right, you're safe if you're walking on the left or the right. There's no cars there. Perhaps you go walking down the middle of the road. You're going to get hit by a car. You're going to get hit by something eventually. Okay. But it's talking about making decisions in life. You can make the right decision. You can make the wrong decision. But make the decision. Okay. Each, one, each time you come up to stuff like that, it's a roadblock. It doesn't mean you get to stop doesn't mean you get to sit there and wait for the obstruction to be removed. You gotta keep walking. You gotta keep walking. It's very important. So make the right choice. Make the wrong choice. As long as you're making the choice. The right choice, obviously, you're going to continue on. Things are going to go easier. You're going to continue down the road. Make the wrong choice. Maybe you got to head a detour. Maybe there's a few things that you need to do before you can start going down the road again. Okay? Don't walk down the center of the road. Don't be indecisive about what you're doing in your life. Because at some point in time, goodbye. You're just not going to get any further. Okay? Uh, for me, I had to make that choice not too long ago. About a, actually, almost just over a year ago now. I was given a couple different options in my life. I was living in Colorado at that point in time. Uh, didn't really want to stay there anymore uh, for personal reasons. Yeah, my dad's still out there, but there were just some other reasons that I was like, okay, time to get out of the state. And most of it will be because infl inflation. But I was asked to move to Indiana with some people and friends, people that I consider to be brothers and sisters to me. They're that important in my life. That that's how I feel they are. They wanted me to move out there with them. I had a big enough house, I could have my own room, do my own thing, really wouldn't be bothered too much. But I also had another decision to make there, because there were some other people down here in Florida that really wanted me to come live with them. People that, you know, I'm working on adopting, or we have adopted, you know, they are my children now. You know, they wanted me to come down here and be with them. So which way do I go? I gotta go left to Indiana or go right to Florida. But if I don't make that decision, guess what? I'm staying in Colorado. I'm never really getting ahead because the cost of living is just getting outrageous. And I'm not too happy with where my life is at at that point because it's going nowhere. So I sat down. I thought a long time about it. You know, I, I weighed out the pros and the cons of both. Who was going to get hurt and who wouldn't get hurt and everything else. I, spiritually, I did a lot of meditation. I, spot, I spoke with my gods about it. And ultimately, the pull was to Florida. There was something in Florida that needed me more than in Indiana. I needed to be here for something. So, I was. I came down here. I was able to help my son through a pretty tough time in his life. Uh, to the point where now he's flourishing again. Uh, I am in the process of helping my daughter now. With some problems that she's having. She's going through a divorce right now. Uh, equally, just nasty. But, whatever reason, I needed to be in Florida. So here I am in Florida. Don't get me wrong. I love Florida. But after everything was said and done, I had to make a decision. 
I had to make the decision that was right for me. And the calling was to Florida. Now, does that mean that I'm going to stay in Florida the rest of my life? I don't know. Maybe. It's all possible. But right now, whenever I think about it or whenever things get tough for me down here and I start thinking, well, maybe I should go to Indiana, you know, I, I do the same thing. I stop, I think about it, and I make a decision. All right. And so far, every time I've looked into it and thought about it, that decision has been to stay here in Florida. So I have. Now, I, it's not saying anything less about the people in Indiana. I love them wholeheartedly with, with my whole heart. I love those people. Would do damn near anything for them. Be there for them in a moment if I could. But right now, my path is in Florida. What I need to do is in Florida. Whatever task I've been given, uh, whatever whatever needs to be completed still hasn't been completed. And that next destination on my journey has not been opened up yet. Whether it's a lesson for me to learn or it's for me to help somebody, whatever it is, it's just not done yet. So, going back to relating it to everything, you might be facing a decision like that right now. North or south, east or west, left or right, make a decision. But please make the decision. Use the brain that you were given and think through the decision. Weigh out everything. Just don't sit there and be stagnant because you're going to get yourself hurt. Keep pushing forward. Always keep pushing forward on your path. But understand that staying stagnant, it's going to hurt you in the long run. Even a wrong decision is better than staying stagnant. So make the decision for yourself. Thank you.